you for joining the Karosi fam. We're a couple of very cool millennial parents raising a very nice little tiny toddler. In today's episode, we decide to go to the land of bulk goods and get some Costco things. Have you ever wondered what a vegan, an omnivore, and a two-year-old eat? Stay tuned to find out. Well, hell, people. This is probably going to be the best video we've made yet. It will be the most expensive one we've made. <laughs> yes. We went to Costco tonight, and we're going to show you everything that we got. Right now, most of our stuff we buy at Costco is like staple stuff and stuff that we believe are good deals. It'll be interesting to see if you guys get anything, if you know of anything that's a good deal. Doing the Kato, Chubba's vegan, Annabelle's a toddler. Yeah. What do you eat? So we good? Let's do this. We dive in. Let's dive in. <laughs> Paper towel and toilet paper. There you go. Pros and cons. Pros, you get so much. The rolls are bigger, good quality, good price. My two cons. Number one, the paper towel are individually wrapped. I know why they do it, but I hate it. What a waste. Yeah. I really don't like the fact how they wrap food here in Canada. Number two, I really don't like the Kirkland toilet paper. I'm meh about it. Meh jumps through my threshold of toilet paper needs. <laughs> Oh. We are a family that lives on a well. If you own a well and you are not filling up your water softener, every Costco trip we go, we pick up a bag of this. Super cheap and in just a bag of salt that you need for your water filtration system. This is only six bucks at Costco. Keeping with the theme of the heavy things, this is hands down the best value for the amount and the quality you can get. I really like this. Song. It smells good, it clumps really well, easy to clean. And it's got such very a good price. catchy name. Quality cat. If you ever wonder whether a Costco membership is worth it, it really started making sense for me once we had Annabelle. But if you have pets, everyone who goes to Costco and has a cat yeah. comes home with one. Okay. Diapers and baby wipes. I actually just uploaded a video recently about finances and babies and toddlers, and this was one of the points. They did not have our size diapers tonight. Apparently, all the kids that were born in COVID times wear the same diaper. But the wipes, excellent, large size. As for baby wipe is probably the best for very good quality. There's not a lot of Kirkland products that I found that I just didn't love. Jeva loves Kirkland. What's their tagline? If you're not completely satisfied with this Kirkland signature product, your money will be refunded. It's not a very catchy <laughs> signature. I think we're kind of good to get into the grocery. If you see anything that you think is not a good deal or whatever, or if you know something that's missing, let us know. Vegan staple for me, raisin bran. I don't eat cereal very often, but what I do, it's usually raisin bran. This, with a little oat milk, bam, breakfast for days. I always consider this to be like a, a healthy breakfast. That's a lot. Pulling the vegan train again, Quaker Quick Oats. One of my breakfast staples once again. Very cheap and Annabelle loves it too. Yeah. Woo! I'm gonna change up the angles. The Kirkland almond milk is still the cheapest and it's just delicious. And I buy the, the non-flavored unsweetened version. I use it to make sauces, to make curries, non-sweetened original. This was on sale again. What's the name of this? Veggie straws. I only buy this at Costco because I find it just for the massive amount that you get. It's so good. Eat this with the hummus that I make. Perfect little snack. Let Alyssa take over. This is a staple. Ranch. <laughs> it's ranch. Wait, wait, I do want... Mushrooms. <laughs> Mushrooms are vegan, if you didn't know. Here's another one. Milk. I usually don't pick this up. Organic lentil soup. Eight cans. I feel like you paid like 10 bucks for it. It tastes pretty bland on its own, but once you put your own little spices in it and a couple of like, you know, hot sauce and paprika and some salt, killer. This is what you take to work when you don't have anything to eat. <laughs> yes. This is exciting. Oh, yeah. Coconut Kato clusters. Now, their coconut clusters are to die for. Now that I'm going back to this low carb, low sugar thing. I'm gonna promise to not eat all of this. Thank you. Okay. Oh my God, this is so good. <laughs> Best place to get lemon juice is Costco. Chapa does this weird thing where he just drinks water and lemon juice. Yeah, it's refreshing. The next contestant, banana. This is 
We don't really have to come in a plastic packaging. Pro tip, buy the greenest bananas you can at Costco. These change very quickly. There's another big, big hitter for the Chubba Man made in Canada. Eves, veggie burgers. Eves in general, I find that they are a very good, like, middle of the road cake meat brand, basically. They have these ultimate veggie burgers. It's not like the best burger you'll ever have, but it's satisfying with zero cravings. Dollar per burger ratio is less than a dollar. And for that, it's amazing. Wraps. 18 tortillas. I'm gonna be buying this. I like to buy some falafels. Because then it's such an easy meal to do with some like plant-based mayo and some spinach and some stuff. Toddler tip, one of the fastest foods that I can make for Annabelle when she's hungry is taking one of these, some Costco tomato sauce, a little bit of ham, cheese, pop it in the oven, ba-bam! Tiny pizza. Blueberries. Costco has a really wide variety of fruit and vegetables. I'm a big stickler for buying the fruit that's actually in season. And right now that's blueberries. Five bucks. Okay. Okay. All right. Blueberries I are in season. I can get behind that. Blueberries are in season. So when strawberries are in season, that's when they're low. Watermelons in season, that's when they're low. Next one, a bunch of naan breads. So, so delicious. You just pop it in the microwave or in the oven for like two minutes. And it's just so versatile and delicious. And a love naan bread. This thing is packed with carbohydrates. Want to put weight on your kid? Yeah. Naan bread. I love dunking it in um, your goulash. One thing that I always use in my homemade hummus. It is insane how cheap this thing yeah. is. Thank you, naan bread makers. We buy cheap coffee. There might be a day when we splurge on more expensive coffee. Here's the thing. For now, we're forgers, people. When I drink my coffee, it's loaded with cream and sugar. Doesn't make a difference. Chubba, when you drink your coffee, I drink it black. Chubba is a stickler for money, so every time he drinks it, he thinks about the savings <laughs> of drinking. You know what? You're so right. I know. Because you would love a nice, good cup of coffee, but every time you drink this, the goodness of a good cup of coffee versus the savings of a Folgers coffee is equivalent. You like totally figured me out. Ooh. Spring rolls. I went through a phase when I ate a lot of this and then I kind of got sick and tired of it. And now I just only buy this pretty infrequently. It's cheap for the amount you get and it's okay. Oh. This is a secret. Is it? You don't have to be a baby to eat these. The hardest thing about these is just to stop eating. I'm gonna have to move closer for this one. Mmm, good old Kirkland brand Sprice again. Kirkland Ancient Grains Granola. Oh my lord, it's delicious. They're on the box, this is vegan. Good job, Kirkland. This is, again, the cheapest granola that I found. I'm also gonna tell you a pro trip here. Take some of this and some of that. Delicious. You eat a lot of carbs. Baby spinach. Do the baby spinach games, please. It's a competition to see whether we can finish this box before the spinach goes bad and we always lose every single time. Spinach, iron, eat more spinach, vegetables are good for you. Greens, leafy greens. <laughs> if you eat tofu, hands down the cheapest, good quality tofu. It took me a while to get into tofu, but now I'm I'm a believer. Brown beef and chicken. Best price you're gonna get. Brown beef you can sort into gosh knows how many bags. Same thing with the chicken. I usually will cut them up and then throw them into the freezer all together. Ready to go. Costco has some really good prefab meals, quote unquote, the ones that they actually make at Costco. My favorite one is the lasagna. Easy to make, throw it in the oven as soon as you get home. It's ready an hour later. This will last me a couple meals. Let's get the other cheesy things out of the way. These strings are amazing. Love cheese strings. I agree. I have it for you, Liz. I love cheese strings. Namaste. I just love. I have never seen this product before and that's why I really like going to Costco. There is always kind of this scavenger hunt. Season is something new there every time. 16 patties. I paid $15 for this yeah. massive box of burger patties. So I'm very excited for these and they are melting. So in the freezer it goes. I did buy a uh, frozen sweet potato fries. A wise man once said that if you're at the grocery store deciding whether to buy pre-shredded cheese versus the block of cheese, you know, sometimes it's okay to just buy the pre-shredded cheese. This is huge. Look at this. Look at it. Look at this. Look at it. Um, I love looking at your cheese, honey. Can I make you feel emotion with my words? My woody, 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 woody. Didn't we leave the best for last? Actually, we didn't. We are kind of disagreeing on this with Alyssa. Big tub of margarine. This one says vegan on the packaging as well. This big tub, I use this mostly for cooking and we buy the basil vegan one for toast. I definitely like the taste of the basil vegan. This is just for cooking. Almost 2 kgs of margarine for $5. All of these items seems like the 
the best deal on the planet and we always pay like 400 bucks at the end of the day. <laughs> our tally was about $430 today. Canadian. That is probably one of our more bigger hauls. A lot of this stuff will last us months. Honorable mentions, peanut butter. I consume a lot of peanut butter. The understatement of the century. <laughs> yes. You consume a lot of peanut butter. You ate this in a week. You grew up without this. Probably that's why I'm trying to catch up. This is a, one of those staples as well, which we didn't buy this time around. Vanilla plant-based protein that I just kind of drink after my workout. That's our Costco haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any tips or tricks as a vegan army toddler family, we would love to hear them. If you thought we were hilarious, <laughs> give this a big old thumbs up. If you want to keep watching our content, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to know when we put content out in the world, make sure you hit that little bell. Beep. Stay tuned for next week where Chubba and I will do something else. <laughs> I started a gratitude journal. Maybe that's going to be our next week video. <laughs> now we're going to take pictures and then we're going to go put stuff in the fridge and then I'm going to go eat a marshmallow. We appreciate you. Bye.